In this video, we're going to take a look at the new character in place option inside of Motion Builder 6 that allows you to lock a character's translation in space in the X, Y, or Z axis. This is especially useful if you're trying to see how animation cycles will blend uh, into one another smoothly without your character actually moving about your scene, which would be uh, very useful to say if you're uh, animating a game model using some motion capture data. So uh, to begin, let's bring a character into the scene. And just to mix things up a little bit, uh, we'll bring in the Aragor character. I know I usually use Mia, but we'll go ahead and change things up just a little. So here's Aragor. And we'll go ahead and bring in some motion for him. So under my motions folder, we'll go under uh, generic man motions. And let's see, under run, we have run fast. So let's open up story, and I'll drag run fast in. And a character uh, animation track is already created. We'll cycle this several times. And if we want to see how these clips are blending one into another, just to make sure that this clip repeats itself nicely, watch what happens if we scrub the timeline right now. After just a few frames, I mean, we don't even really make it up to 30 frames, uh, really, Aragorn is pretty much out of the scene. So we don't have a nice, smooth way to see how things are blending. If we hit play, he just takes off. So if this were a, uh, an animation, say, for a, a video game character, or if we just wanted to simply see how things were looping together, how things were cycling, then we'd have to keep moving the camera over and over. Instead, we can go under our character controls, we'll grab Aragor, and I'm going to edit his properties. And down here at the bottom, we have underneath modifiers, the new in place option. So we go under in place, and we can choose to lock uh, the character in the X axis, in the Y axis, or the Z axis. Uh, Z is not necessary in this case, so we'll go ahead and switch that off. So I've locked him in X and Y. And now if I hit play, you'll notice my rig takes off, but Aragor stays in the same place. So because we might find the rig a little distracting, I'll go under Show, and we'll switch off FK, we'll switch off Skeleton, we'll switch off IK. And now we can take a look at our animation, see how everything is blending together while the character remains in one spot. Furthermore, if we need to uh, make sure the character is moving in the right place, we always have the rig to reference to make sure, like, for example, he is running in the right direction, he's uh, jumping over the right object, or really anything at all. And then when we're done, all we have to do is switch off our locks, and our character goes right back to where he was. So a very, very handy way to control and examine your animation to make sure that things are cycling properly as you work. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks a lot.